Uh, before we get into a bunch of questions, we, the fight we've talked about as a team, we've learned from the experience, and we're moving on. The NBA is going to make a ruling. We don't know what that ruling is yet. So, basketball questions. In case suspensions do come. Um, in case. Are, well, in case. Um, <laughs> what do we got? Um, what's the plan B in terms of the line of our rotations? So yeah, we'll, there's, there's, those decisions will be made when we know the, the reality of what's going to happen. We we learn we talked about that as a group and, and we 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 learn everyone learns something differently but we we brought it up we talked about it um, the message was delivered and you know now it's about next man up move, moving moving forward and, and keep uh, keep positive keep getting better. What was the setting of that conversation? Were you out here on the court or was there like a in the film room? Setting? Okay, and who was spoke? You, was, it you, was, it Stern, was, it was, was it Stern in my case? Yeah, well, no, it, we had a message. It was I talked to the guys, opened it up, and then we moved on. We got into the film from last night, uh, and we put our focus on today uh, about being about today and getting better today. And we did that. We had a good practice today. Um, I, I don't. Again, I'm not going to talk about what people say or don't say behind the closed doors. I, I talk to the group. I'll talk about myself. I talk to the group. Yeah. How is it? How tough is it at this point when you guys are still figuring out rotations, lineups? What works to, to lose two players like Rondo and Ingram schematically and, and chemistry-wise? Well, we we haven't lost them yet. They both <coughs> practiced today. They were both great in practice today, and we got better today. Did they practice with the second unit? Mm, Brandon was with one unit. Rondo was with a different unit. Did LeBron practice? LeBron did the first part of practice, and then I told him I wanted to rest those legs of his. We got three and four nights coming up, uh, so he was he was uh, on the sideline uh, watching practice. Look, were you were you disappointed with the, the, the level that got to last night? The game? No, I thought we played well. I thought we had a chance. We were only down one or two late in the game. Uh, you know, like I said, we're conti like first night we gave up around 20 seconds second chance points last night we were down eight or nine so like things we're focusing on and things we're getting better at we're doing and Houston's a very good team they made some really tough shots we didn't execute down the stretch um, but we're moving the ball we had 26 27 assists around there and, and 10 11 turnovers so all the things we're focused on we, we're getting better at so not disappointed in that I'm sorry I wasn't clear I was talking about the fist fight oh yeah no no we're, we, we're moving on from the fist fight we're we're about uh how to get better today. The, one one the last free. question about the, the NBA said its investigation apparently centering on whether or not spitting took place. Um, Carmelo said that, I guess, it was spitting in the face. That's the question. Did that take place? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. The free throw disparity from last night, I think it's probably maybe one of the issues of tension. How much can you control that? You oh, a lot. We fouled. I mean, we know what's called a foul in this league. So whether we agree with it or not, we know what's going to be called a foul. And we had our arms out. Uh, we reached, and, and they took advantage of that. And and part of that is is getting reps against playing, uh, you know, that team. They're really good at it. Uh, they got two guys that... Uh, draw a lot of fouls, and, and you got to show your arms and put your chest out. And when we did that, we had some success guarding them. And when we didn't, they shot foul shots. But ultimately, I think that was what uh, lost us the game was sending them to the to the line too many times. What about your own aggression, trying to get to the line, trying to get guys like LeBron, Brandon? Yeah, we've been great. We had seventy points in the paint again, right around that. I mean, it's we're playing the way we want to play. I feel like we, when you're that aggressive, you should. You should be on the line more, but you know part of that is be building our identity and teams knowing this is what they do, and then hopefully you know some of those calls we, we end up with uh, you know more free throws because we're known as being a physical team that attacks the ring. Did you dive into any of the video of the fight itself, and if so, no. did your opinion you know, I change watched, at all? I watched video until 3 a.m. last night on our game and breaking down clips of what we need to do. Uh, to get better what we did well, what we didn't do well, and put together an edit for this morning. Uh, showed that edit, and when I get out of here, I'm going to go watch film on San Antonio. Lazo said last night he's 100%. Uh, I know that you had said there was some sort of minutes. Yeah. For him. Um, he looks great. 
Uh, there's a minute restriction there was on last night. I, I got to sit with the training staff again today because we always wait till the day after the game to uh, discuss. But there, there was a still minutes restriction as of last night. Um, and I'll, I'll t get with the training staff today and see where we're at with all that. Houston sought out Kuzma on a lot of those switches. What mm -hmm. was your evaluation of his perimeter defense last night? He's got to be much better. He knows that. What does he need to be better? Well, uh, one the the technique he's got he he's he's got these little happy feet he likes to shuffle them. Um, two, he's got to take it personal, which I think he does. He texted me as soon as the game was over, said that will never happen again. So, uh, you know that's you know the wanting and the willing, uh, and then the technique to to do it uh, is all part of it. And, and part of it is you know he's doing a lot of things. He's a second year in the league and he's playing against. The MVP, we have him switching onto the MVP of the league, and we have him in a deep drop playing backup center. So he's got a lot of responsibility. Um, but we feel like he, he, he can handle that, and he'll learn, and he'll get better from that. Um, but, yeah, he's, he's, he's got to be better, and he knows that. What are the reasons you think he's playing differently? Luke, he's playing differently defensively, depending on the position. How, how about offensively? Does, does that affect where he's going to be on the other end of the court? Is, if he's going, is he still figuring that out? Well, that's part of the reason we're trying to do it because you know we feel he can really uh, he can really change the, the pace for us on offense and spread the floor and get us out and running, which we've done a really nice job of, um, which is why we want him on that floor. But it only works if we can get stops. So um, you know it's it's a work in progress. But yeah, the way he plays offense is a big part of trying to keep him out there as, as much as possible. Besides the score and you know being within a point when all that stuff happened, how do you think you guys are just kind of getting over the top of these games? Uh, like how well, small I mean, it's, the yeah, it's, yeah, it's transition defense. It's playing defense without fouling. They're all just as important. Um, and, you know, every game takes on, you know, its own life. So it's, it's not like, oh, if all of a sudden we can stop fouling, we'll automatically win these games. It's about, you know, doing what's needed that game, and especially down the stretch of the games, closing, closing them out, uh, making plays. Um, and, you know, yeah, we're, we're close to getting there, but we, we're not close to where we need to be. I mean, we're, we're miles away. We got a lot of work to do all season long to get to where we need to be. Last question. Did Lance show you anything? Did Lance show you anything? Did Lance show you anything? Did Well, what I loved about Lance last night was his competitive spirit while we were playing. I mean, that game was it was getting chippy. Uh, it was back and forth, and, and Lance was locked in on defense. He he was doing everything we were asking of him as far as cutting without the ball. Uh, you know, he wasn't catching and holding and doing. You know, even though he's good at that dribbling stuff, we've asked him to limit that. He didn't have a lot of those possessions. Um, so just the overall way Lance was was playing and then the way that he was competing on the defensive end. He was pr probably, our, in watching film, probably our best individual defender when he was switched on to, to Harden and, and, and Paul and those guys. So that's what I was uh, most impressed with on Lance last night.